What's up, everybody? I am now a reaction channel. <laughs> so while we wait for Fallout New Vegas to get existing, which yes, I am still doing, uh, we're gonna we're gonna watch this because this man is a SpongeBob guy, and I'm now oh, a reaction God. channel. Wall, <laughs> and uh, oh my gosh, that that hurt my soul to say that. What SpongeBob guy? <laughs> uh, no, 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 reaction channel. Oh, All right, reaction uh, channel. Let's get into the series. <laughs> this is not a part of the Don't Feed the Muse ARG. That series is oh, over. Oh, it's and not. I am oh, it's not. Oh, SpongeBob theories. But I do have one last special thing planned for you, SpongeBob theory fans. I'll talk about that a little more at the end. Let's find. Okay, so he's out of the ARG. Oh, he actually is. They, out of the that ARG. ended. Okay. Yeah, that huh. ended. Okay. Well, that, I'm, that's kind of sad, but it's also kind of cool. It's also kind of cool. It's Pixar Metaverse yeah. theory. The bloopers in the Pixar movies are so funny, dude. Yeah. I can't wait for my childhood Pixar to be ruined. When Pixar was first starting out, they used to include yep. these little bonus segments during the end credits of their movies. Big marker. And action. Are you saying I'm stupid? <laughs> marker. I like how they put effort into These it. Were like they yeah. were where they would reshow scenes from the movie, but the characters would suddenly forget their lines or mess up and break character. Go get him, Mr. Solomon. You idiot. It's Solomon, not Solomon. What? You're messing up the scene. Sorry. We're never gonna work in Hollywood again. <laughs> Does this mean we can break for lunch? <laughs> what? What's so funny? Woody! It's something you'd expect from a live-action movie with real yeah. actors, but these yeah. are obviously animated movies with fake computer-generated characters and environments, meaning the creators I went like out that of their touch. way to make yeah. these fake yeah. bloopers just to make the movies <laughs> feel so cool. more real. They even sometimes mm -hmm. show the crew filming them. Now, obviously, these are not canon. They're just funny gags where we get to pretend like the characters are real actors on a real set. It well, there's over. That's <laughs> something that other animated movies have also done. 1527, take one. That's as close as I can get right now. I'm on a seafood diet. I eat, I see seafood? Never mind. <laughs> but if that's the case, if this is just a random throwaway gag for the credits and not something we should actually think about, then why did the creators go out of their way to make the crew filming a Bugs Life also, bugs. Because it's a show. It's a weird detail to include for such a quick little nothing gag, right? But this detail has some very interesting implications for this weird little meta alternate universe where all the characters are just actors who know they're filming a movie. Like, this has to mean that in this universe, these actors are actually real talking bugs, right? Like, I first assumed maybe the implication was that they were just like humans in bug costumes, but there's no way the crew would also be in costumes too. That's called a Comic Con. So Comic Con. This means that they must all be real talking bugs. We are looking at a universe where talking bugs are making movies about talking bugs with tiny cameras and tiny film equipment, and they're not alone. The Monsters Inc. bloopers also feature monsters on the crew filming the movie. And while we don't fully see the crew in the Toy Story bloopers, and they seem to have human hands, they're the same size as the toys, and in one shot, mm. if you look closely, we can see enough of the arm to reveal oh. it has the exact same weird bendy elbow that Woody does, meaning you they sure are that's all not an animation actually error? Just an animation all these error. fictional in-universe movies are being filmed by the well, actual I mean, talking I like being in, creatures I like from being their in denial movies. and just being like saying, oh well, yeah, they just were putting, they were just putting actual effort in into it. Weird meta blooper <laughs> universes. Okay, that's that's You're just not a believer. But why does any exactly. of this really yeah. matter? I just believe in Christ. At the end of the day, these are still just little bonus <laughs> segments too. that exist in their own separate continuities. Yay. It's not Yay. actually canon Wait, to the real Wait, hold on. Gotta look at something real quick. Respective movies, meaning talking bugs, toys, and monsters Is this... all actually oh, exist you can't hold on in the space star to go plus universes. 20? Okay, that's pretty interesting. But why does any of this really matter? At the end of the day, these are still just little yeah, I thought that said a different name. that exist in <clears throat> their own separate continuities. Sorry, I it's had not to actually canon to the real Pixar universe that we care about. And that's true, but unlike the Pixar universe, these bloopers actually feature, for the very first time ever, concrete connections between these films. <laughs> yep. Woody. Woody. You know, I can't believe you talked them into making. Hey! 
Buzz Lightyear. Yeah. Woody shows up as a crew member on A Bug's Life. The bugs show up in Toy Story 2, and Aww. Rex shows up in the Monsters, Inc. bloopers. And these are not just little background references. These are... So wait, that canonizes that Rex, in, in canon, is taller than Sullivan, which means Jeez. in Toy Story, Andy is, like, beyond the size of a titan. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> All but toys. hey, that's just a theory. <laughs> that's no. just a theory. A film, film theory. theory. <laughs> Indisputable crossovers that is awesome. where the characters yeah. interact with each other. So no, this is not a theory about how the story in the Pixar movies connect. This is a theory about how the Pixar metaverse, the fictional universe where all of these stories are just movies filmed by live action actors, connects together. And believe me, there is so much more here. Well, Pixar is behind this! <laughs> it's like it's some governmental conspiracy theory. Yeah. That would be funny. So, Sad from now on, some I'll aren't. be referring to this connected, behind-the-scenes cinematic universe as the Pixar metaverse. A term I'm blatantly stealing from Quentin Reviews. We now know for a fact that the world nice. of the Pixar metaverse has actual talking toys, bugs, and monsters that all co and humans are giants. Humans coexist and make giants. movies together Titans, about to be talking specific. toys, bugs, and monsters. We should make, I should make my own film only theory. Only three <laughs> movies had these bloopers, so we don't really get a ton of information about how this metaverse world works. It seems like the main difference between the metaverse and the world of the Pixar movies is that humans are most likely aware of all of these talking creatures' existence. We don't. Literally ruins the entire plot of Toy Story. Like, yeah. why do they I'm go all... down all the time? Why do they even buy well, toys acting. if they know they just they're exist? They're acting. That's the that's the oh, that's what he's saying. He's saying that he's saying. everything in every Pixar movie is all staged in that universe. Like and they know that oh, exists, okay. but they're acting for the thing. So that's actually a pretty convincing oh. theory. Yeah, I, I okay. can see yeah, how. Yeah, no, yeah. that that's con that's convincing. That's really good how convincing. Because yeah. like. How how do they always not know like when yeah. they're clearly faking anyways? Seeing the humans in these bloopers, but the, the fact that humans really are also this. acting in these movies seems to imply mm -hmm. that they're working together. One of the monsters uh, even Samuel says they're L. Jackson. in Hollywood. You're messing up the scene. Sorry, we're never gonna work in Hollywood again. So yeah, yeah I was curious about that. Humans and talking toys and bugs and monsters all peacefully coexist in this. Lies. World. Lies. And even though we never see it, I think there's a good chance that talking rats and fish and maybe even superheroes all exist in the same world and everyone Why does that fade it and, and make me a... laugh so there hard? There some exceptions, <laughs> like the films that depict entirely different worlds, but even if the worlds in those movies are fictional, in this metaverse, don't count I don't see why Disney there can't also be talking cars <laughs> and, and robots now. and even straight up magical creatures we don't talk just about walking it. the streets. We don't talk you know, if it. magical talking toys exist, I feel like they all could exist exist in yeah. the same world at the same time so when does wally exist uh they all like hold on is that the new buzz light <laughs> peacefully coexisting is it and uh that's where i was gonna end the pixar metaverse theory it's not the most complicated in-depth idea it kind of just explains itself once yeah. you think about it yeah but, but hey I, i'm not complaining you know like, easy theory Wall -E. means easy video like i, I said no it's all that. in the same universe they're all but acting then, right when i was about to so even this wall -E video, I felt is a acting little itch in the back oh, no. of my head the same itch you get when you look at bad mocap animation or an unlicensed <laughs> that's a drum that I <laughs> the kind of itch that tells this is getting you there's creepy. something I could real tell. fast here. i could tell that behind the laughter and the kooky hijinks is something profoundly wrong sullivan so skin hold on we gotta talk <laughs> about that <laughs> hold you on you don't understand <laughs> off here that the behind creepy, the laughter dude. and the kooky hijinks is look at that yeah. shit. I can, I, yeah. profoundly wrong. So I rewatched the bloopers over okay. and over again. For weeks, I couldn't sleep so without into thinking the next about mountain. these bloopers. And then one day, I finally realized what it was that was bothering me so much. It was this one single clip from the Bugs Life bloopers. Okay. Marker. <laughs> wait a minute. Oh, wait, stop. I think I swallowed a bug. I think I swallowed a bug. Yeah, is Whoa. that cannibalism? How, how if if he's a wait, if he if swallowed a bug, exactly. But, but he's a bug. A bug. Cannibalism? What? 
In this same <laughs> clip, they remind us that these are not just people wearing bug costumes. The crew clearly also are looks like bugs. bugs. But yeah. the, how did he, did swallow he swallow a tiny bug? bug? Are, are these things not actually bugs? Oh. Uh, and if so, what, what are they? And look what? at the reaction. I think I swallowed a bug. <laughs> They're not horrified like he just consumed what? an equal member of their society. They're laughing the way you or me would laugh if we what? swallowed a fly. And it's what? Not like flies Wait a minute. Are tiny in this world either. They're this the same size. This actually as is making me think. This is actually like conspiracy theory, dude. I what? Realized it was far from the only uh, one. What? Hold on. Woo. I don't remember eating that. Cut. Uh, I can't believe this. That's a fifth pie. What was that guy in? Sorry, everyone. I, I had that bean burrito for lunch. Wait. I had, had that bean, bean burrito, burrito for, for lunch. lunch? Toys don't, don't eat. eat. Toys have never eaten in any of yeah. these movies. The closest we get is maybe bullseye licking cheese dust like, off a yeah. finger. But that's just tasting. They don't have internal organs. They they can't actually consume or food. Do this they? This would seem to imply that the actors. Oh, this is getting like cars toys. theory. But remember, creepy, the dude. Wait, also wait a minute. Also looks like toys, and not to mention in this clip there are tons of identical Buzz clones that sound exactly like, like him, him, even yeah. when they're out of character. Cut. Uh, I can't believe that's a yeah. fifth pie. Is that guy in? Which in you know what's funny? I'm just yeah. gonna real quickly ruin you guys' immersion right here. All right. Yeah. <laughs> The, the actual voice actor for Buzz Lightyear had to record all of these lines separately, and they had to splice them all together yeah. into one. Yeah, it's just like the it's just like uh the guy who voiced all Clone the Clone Wars. Yeah, Clone Wars. he had to talk That's to so himself. Cool. He had to talk to himself. I thought that yeah, yeah that was kind of cool. It was just it was just, really it was just him. Honestly. He, he voiced yeah, every clone. Every clone. Anyways, yeah. Sorry, guys, I just wanted to ruin your immer immersion. Right, right back there. to the immersion. But toys don't eat, and. Yeah, Why is Rex so big compared to the monsters? Yeah. Monsters are supposed yeah, let's to be go. bigger than my theory. Let's go, your theory is working. bigger than toys. And my theory is the working. They're giants. Compared to Buzz, yeah. even though Woody was shown to be the exact same size oh. as an ant. And Wait, why what? is a mechanical robot <laughs> when everyone else is a talking living thing? And wait, 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 wait. If, if they're just supposed to be actors pretending to be fictional I... characters, why does Buzz yeah. call Woody Woody out of character. What? What are you laughing about? Huh? <laughs> Real funny, Woody. Like, wouldn't Woody's actor have a different name that Buzz would call them when they aren't acting? Tom what? Hanks. What's so funny? Woody! Tom Hanks! It, Woody. No. None of these bloopers make <laughs> any <laughs> sense. And the fact that they don't make hey, any sense doesn't like, make any sense. Because the creators clearly went out of their way language. to add details to clarify Library. the lore of this metaverse world, while also going but out like, of their way to add details that directly wow. contradict what they've set up. Yeah. Like, literally, in the same shot, they're contradicting themselves. If they're not bugs, then just make the crew human, or just don't show the crew. You can't have both. This is odd. He's, he's, he, yeah. he got okay. that in one take. So, okay. I think the answer to this is obvious. This is all just It's a kid's movie. They were just making random shit yeah. up. Yeah. And I've Duh. wasted weeks of my you life. You guys are so this. stupid. <laughs> I, I acted all cocky in the you guys are of this video. Stupid. Like, oh, I've discovered this amazing new evidence that no one was smart enough to Obviously. even consider. Yeah. We're but just, the yeah. reason why people don't consider these bloopers is because they don't make any f sense. And they only made yeah. three Which. of these tiny little segments. We yeah. haven't gotten another Well, I mean, yeah, language, but yeah. like... There is not nearly enough content here for me to make a proper theory and even what we do have is full of contradictions this whole mm -hmm. video has been pointless and i should just yeah. scrap it yeah duh. Work on duh. Something else. Duh. Duh. obviously me with my fault in vegas uh -oh. video h s but Believe me, I wanted to scrap this video and work on something else, but I couldn't shake the feeling that there that. must be something somewhere out there that gives us just another glimpse of this behind-the-scenes metaverse world. Mr. So Incredibles is just a toy from Toy searching, Story. <laughs> searching and searching yeah. everywhere I could think of. The Pixar Wikipedia, the Disney Plus spin-offs and short films. Pixar has a Wikipedia? Really? I didn't know that. This guy is doing I didn't know research. that either. I'm sorry. I, I just had to real quickly check. Yeah. I even watched 
Mater's tall tales, and there was no, still. Do not hold up. Do not disrespect. Yeah, that. do not that disrespect like, Mater's tall do tales. Not okay, that was Mater's a good tales. banger. All right, it that was, was it was good. good. Okay. It was actually that good. That was good, bro. That Mater's good. ghost light was like awesome. <laughs> like Ooh, I remember yeah, watching that, being dude. like, I love this. <laughs> You can't I love disrespect all that, of it. All right? My favorite one was the fire truck one. All oh, right, do not truck disrespect one, yeah. this. All the engine ones. I don't know too, why I love like that they're doing one. like the jet and my TP. I I use that line so much. <laughs> yeah, I use that line so much. Man, right. he actually did investigate though. He went through everything and mm -hmm. anything, even Mater's Tall everything. Tales. But Mater's Tall Tales is a hidden gem. Okay. Yeah, yeah, come on. Like, it's if you a, have yeah. not watched Mater's Tall yeah. Tales or Piggy Tales yeah. from Angry Birds, you yeah. are missing out, yes. okay? You had no childhood. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing I could use. But then I realized I was... Is this Mass Effect music? I swear this sounds Mass exactly Effect. like it. I swear Seriously? to you. Place. Never played games. Pixar always re-releases mm. their movies on DVD. Oh, no, no, it's and not. Okay. If that's part of the same music, then no, it's like not. Creator interviews, deleted scenes, old promotional material, and most yeah. importantly, the blooper segments. Oh. If there's more Metaverse content out there, I bet you it's on these DVDs. So I bought as many DVDs as I could <laughs> find and started... Hold on. Hold on. He bought... I got a, I got a count. I got a count. He got up... And a VHS, a VHS, a Blu-ray Wally, -E, Ratatouille. Okay, someone is gonna he get at me Disney in the comments. That that's not an actual VHS, but I swear that is. Oh, I love. Oh no, okay. it's on Blu-ray. Hot take. All right. What? Hot take. I actually liked Planes because dude, I grew Planes up on that before Planes was cars. so good, dude. I watched Cars oh, before. Yes, I watched Cars go. before Planes. Like, I had no. And I, I watched Planes, and I'm like, this tales. is so good. This is like part of the Cars universe. I loved universe. Planes. Yeah, Planes is such a good one. I loved Planes yeah. more even, than Cars Even the for a second while, one I... was kind of all right. Like, it wasn't terrible. I loved, the good. second one was my favorite as yeah. a child. Okay, but I was like... One five. of those hidden gems, No, too. I was like three. Yeah, but like one of those hidden gems. Yeah. I don't get why everyone disses it. Yeah. Like, come on. I started looking through every single menu item until I found a little something called character interviews what? we've arranged to go live via satellite to the stars oh. of toy story what? and bugs hello guys hello hello the toy story a bug's life finding nemo and the incredibles dvds what? all feature hold on if it's in the incredible dude character interviews. Bro. thank you for letting us in on the set hi hello this is a set for andy's room it's where all us toys live in the movie oh, what we really shouldn't give too much away the the shark even interviewed. Even the shark is interviewed. With the animated characters Dude. talking with real live-action humans what? trying to promote their movies. Come see Toy Story 2. I'll certainly try. This is 100% in the same metaverse as the bloopers, and we now have almost no. 15 minutes. Of this is crazy. I've never analyze. seen those. So I know. So immediately, there's a lot of similarities between these interviews and the bloopers. Like the bloopers, the interviews also act like what we are seeing is not animated. It's being filmed by actual film equipment and cameras. Yeah. Oh my gosh, is that a camera? <sighs> Hi, I'm Dory. And again, even though the characters are presented as actors behind the scenes, they still have the same names as the characters they play. My name is Flick, and I guess you could say I'm the hero of the picture. This will get them into the theaters and droves. Buzz, it's not true. Now, the Toy Story, Bugs Life, and Finding Nemo interviews don't really tell us anything that we didn't already know, but the Incredibles Ooh. interviews are very, yeah. very yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the, the yeah. like the fact they even got like a background and stuff that yeah. mm. interesting. May I say that it's an incredible pleasure to be here. Unlike the other interviews, these aren't disconnected video calls. Mm -mm. The Incredibles are actually, actually in, in the, the room, room with the yeah. live action. It's very weird <laughs> and uncanny looking. Nancy. Yeah. I love that outfit. Thanks, Elastigirl. Good to see you. You look great. But even stranger, when asked about being in these movies, the Incredibles have a very different response now that you have finished filming the incredibles are you looking okay hs is once again hold on look at that look at that subtitle the, the incredibles have a very I, I have different on. response now that you have finished no, no, no. Filming oh, the look at that. oh look at you're right H no and i'm S saying that h and s again, is always being once again different bold. yeah that's okay what, yeah. so i don't the oh uh, hang on what is what's that game i'm thinking of that's like hot right now that's like Got HS. It's like some sort of the home security thing in Mabob. I'm wondering if this is connected to that. It probably isn't, but that is 
that's clearly not a mistake that H and S yeah. is being highlighted. H and S is being. I wonder if there's something in the description. Yeah. I wonder if there's something in the description. I'll check it later. All right. Are you looking forward yeah, to getting back to your regular life and settling down a little bit? <laughs> um, I didn't really make the movie. This whole movie is a cartoon, you know? It's a cartoon. It's a computer-generated, exaggerated thing. What? Unlike... Wait, what? Wait. They just accepted that it was That is like fourth-wall breaking That's like fourth-wall right breaking creepy. That's the... They all ex they, wall breaking dude, like, yeah. I know what's gonna happen. I, yeah. And you don't. That's like, that what? so weird. They, they know it's fake. They, they know, know it's, it's fake. They are fake. They are fake, yeah. So how did they they're in the odd. real world? This, yeah. This is, this is all oh, my, on, we, we my mind is lot. breaking right now. <laughs> my, I know. It hurts. Every other instance of the Pixar metaverse, The Incredibles claims that their movie actually is animated. No, it's a cartoon. It's animated. Man, I'm not in the movie. It's a cartoon. Uh, what? What? Do I look like a cartoon? They <laughs> they went they take, went through take that this. out of context. <laughs> Do take I look that out like of a cartoon to you? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, since it's I'm like totally. I am totally. I am totally gonna take that snippet, clip it, dude. I'm just that little clip, and then be like, "Do I look, look like a cartoon look to like you?" <laughs> okay. No, seriously, this is hurting my brain. This is hurting my brain, <laughs> though. Do I they look all... like a cartoon? To yeah. You? Like, that's Wait, so, so weird, dude. This is so. Do you? They... <laughs> I can't stop. Do I look like it? It's just because it's old CGI. The Incredibles yeah. movie is just a cartoon that they didn't even act in. It was just something inspired by their real lives. I mean, I didn't oh. really do anything. Maybe they, they paid me Wait, a fee what? to use elements of my life story. We just gave Pixar oh. permission to be inspired by, I guess is a legal term, what? our lives. Which is what? weird because they are clearly that sounds like, cartoons. Sounds like a especially drama compared show. Compared to the real know. life human interview in front of them. They even acknowledge this in the interviews. Do I look like a cartoon to you? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Do I look like a yes, cartoon to you? I'm sorry. I that have is funny. to keep pausing it whenever that, that happens. That kinda. is funny. Like, uh, kind of. <laughs> these movies Wait, not being animated yeah. was the Her. only consistent thing about the metaverse, but now they're contradicting that, too. It's a cartoon. It's animated. How am I supposed to make a theory about this? I've looked through every possible avenue You need avenue to get Matt Pat to come content, out of retirement. For He's like, I've look, come out of retirement. <laughs> puts a lot of time and effort into the for world one more video. For one more. Animated movies, but clearly they don't give a f about these bonus behind the scenes language there's no theory here i i, I give up I, i'm sorry I, I just i can't wait a second these award-winning animated children's and family enemy nominee yeah. cars on the road oh that's on the road i uh, thought that was like uh mater's tall tales i'm not joking yeah because i was like <laughs> i thought that won something oh my god how did i miss this Pixar has been nominated and won many different awards for their movies, but sometimes during the Oscars, guess who presents these awards? What? What? Whoa! Whoa. What is this? Wow. The Academy Awards. The nominees for Best Animated Short Film are, and the Oscar goes to... That's right. Characters from Toy Story, a bug what? Type, Monsters, Inc., The what? Cars... What? what is this? What? what? And <laughs> even up, even up, guy. Appearances at the Oscars. Ratatouille. Oh, this thing bug. is so heavy. And I know your immediate instinct is probably going to be to say, "Oh, come on, these are just cute little gags for the Oscars. They don't yeah. count." Yeah. I mean, but yes. why not? Dude, like the bloopers in interviews, they talk like they're actors in a movie. <laughs> Excuse me, Buzz. I had the leading role. What? But I carried the picture. I they carried even the show. Up. All right, all right. We need to have a debate. Who carried the picture? Who Woody carried... or Buzz Lightbeer? Buzz Lightbeer. <laughs> <laughs> he actually calls him that in the movie. <laughs> a character interview for the movie Up. So what does this nomination what? mean to you? Huh? What? What is that? I will explore it now. What? Ah, for the love of Pete. Like it or not, these. Eat. These award shows are absolutely canon to the metaverse, <laughs> and the reason why that
I don't know why, but that laugh just makes it more subtle that he's going yeah. insane with this one singular theory. Yeah, dude. No, I'm this sorry, theory, but this theory the laugh, is like blowing my laugh, brain. No, this is this is like, so this is crazy. Insane. Like this, this is crazy because I didn't know this existed. I know I never knew interviews existed. I never knew the I didn't know they did the were awards. introduced. Yeah, I knew they got them. I didn't know they they did actually it. introduced. They them. are not the only animated characters at these awards. Shrek. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Look at that face. Of course, it's a tremendous honor to be what? nominated. Happy feet, George Miller. What? Mom got an Academy Award. What? Jimmy Neutron. What? what? Genius. Yes, I am now claiming every no. single non-Pixar character what? that shows up alongside the Pixar characters. No. The Simpsons. Okay, the Simpsons no. makes sense. I didn't know Beavis and Butthead did it. I knew what? the Minions did it. Yeah. Like this is this is blowing wow. my brain. This is this is what? blowing my brain cells. At these awards is now officially a part of the same. So you're saying so every the Incredibles are in the same universe as Beavis and Butthead? Basically, I'd like to see something explained <laughs> in that. I need something to explain that. Even interact with each other. Mike and Sully react to losing Best Animated Picture to Shrek, and Lightning McQueen literally talks to Happy Feet. Whoa! Look at you! This is oh. no longer <laughs> what. What? The Pixar metaverse theory. This, this, this is, is now just the movie. The animated Man, movie, movie metaverse animated theory. Metaverse it's all canon. Theory. They're all connected. They're all connected. No, oh. you're going insane. Yeah, what the, the heck is going Hazel on? Hazelberries is going on. <laughs> all right, so uh, let, let me pause for a second. I, I may have just lost a few of you guys there. Yeah. At this point, nah, you might be did. realizing that I haven't really done a lot of actual theorizing yeah. yet. Yeah. I've kind of just listed off a bunch of increasingly absurd and contradictory Do I look facts. like a cartoon? And now I've you? just gone and connected <laughs> Do a I look like a other franchises from other studios. Yeah, like, like what? Don't like I, like I was explaining, you're telling me Shrek and Cars could have a collab to make yeah. Shrek car. This is insane. Now two, well, first off, yep. I'm still gonna mostly just focus on the Pixar, Pixar characters. Yeah. Technically, yes, all of these movie characters are now connected in the metaverse, but this is still just a Pixar theory. But more- Okay, so anyways, again, gonna ruin your guys' immersion here real quick. How did they actually get, like, the 3D models to That's just impressive. be there? Did they have, like, like a back... big screen screen? Yeah, or like... did they actually cut people? Or did the actual actors be there and they cut them out and, like, sure. over them had like that... the animated characters? That is kind of impressive how they were able to do that. Because we're like, talking about, like, Again, I'm gonna ruin your guys' immersion. Nineties, like... But, like, yeah, That's for, crazy. for, like... How they were able that to was do that. Great. That's insane. Uh, yeah. Especially the Incredibles was... interview with them. Mm -hmm. and that, like, that's no, actually that impressive. Was... Do I like, look like a cartoon? <laughs> do I look like a cartoon yeah. to you? That's crazy, Anyways, man. That, 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 that's just crazy. Sorry. Yeah. Again, going to ruin your guys' immersion whenever I can. More importantly, we are finally done searching for new evidence, and we are ready to start I've the never theory watched that Brave. I've been building up to for this entire right. video. Something. And that's because in these award shows is a single clip that can be used to explain every single loose end and weird contradiction in the metaverse. Right. A clip that fundamentally changes our way of viewing this world. The clip I'm referring okay. to is the presentation for Best Animated Short Film from the 71st Academy Awards. And connects them all. <laughs> and Best Film Editing. Oh, wow, this thing is so heavy. <clears throat> Hi, we're here to present the award for Best Animated Short Film because we're animated and... We are short. Short? Wait, what? 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 This is what? What? He just pulled a Deadpool and straight up said Dude. he knows he's animated. I don't understand. What? I don't understand. What? My brain Hold is exploding. On. Hold on. My childhood is not ruined. It's demolished. What is going My on? My childhood is confused. It's Does that mean even... Mater knows? Mater's tall tales. <laughs> I don't get it. Oh my, my goodness, what? Hold on. For the first time ever, <laughs> Flick refers to the Bugs Life characters as animated. We're animated. And at first, this just seems like another contradiction in the massive pile of metaverse contradictions. Yeah. But this little piece of information can be used to solve everything. How could Flick possibly be animated if he's physically on the stage at the... 
Okay, real quickly, just because I like special effects. Yeah. Good job that getting the mirror really... reflections on the back. Yeah. On the back. Of That's the impressive. Thing. Like, good job with the mirror reflections. Good they job. Were able to do that. That was impressive. Yeah. The Movies Oscars were so cool in back In front then. of a crowd of mm-hmm. real human beings. Yeah. And I'm not asking how is this literally done in real life. I know it's all just yeah. special effects and none of this is actually. Yeah. Okay. Re- a- a- Woman casually walks Woman casually over. walks over. <laughs> I'm asking, CGI. in the lore of the metaverse world where all of this is canon, how could this possibly make sense? Yeah. How could any of these actors be animated when we are shown time and time again that they are real, physical, living things that can actually interact with the real world and require a crew and equipment to film them? Because we're, we're animated. animated. Yeah. Because we're Animated. Oh! What does the word anime oh, actually no. mean? What? We assume it means no. just a fake CGI Hold creation, on. but the word Hold literally on. means full of life. Oh. So what? Here is the actual Hold on. I've been no. Up to for this Hold entire up. video. Every actor we see in the metaverse is animated, animated. but they aren't just soulless computer oh, no. programs. They are actual living things that can physically exist and what? interact with the real world. What? Just like in real life, all the characters are were created you? by Pixar to star in their movies, but in the metaverse, Pixar actually somehow physically brought created them to life. Created them. What? Dude! By a little comment Carl makes during his Oscar interview. What is that? I will explore it now. <laughs> Yeah, I was gonna point that out. For yeah, the love of Pete. Pete created Carl them. Says, ah, for the love of Pete, which is another way of saying for the love of God. But I think yeah. Carl replacing the word God here with Pete is also a sneaky little reference <gasps> to the fact that the director of Up Yep, yep, was this is what I was gonna point out. Pete. You're a good theorizer. Ah, what? Done. That's crazy. I was about to, I was about to point that out, yeah. like saying, "Oh, you could be go full crazy and say that Pete, you know, is like God or something." Yeah. But dang, literally. So in the metaverse lore, Dude. Carl is essentially saying that Pete Doctor, the director of Up, is their God. Is his God, yeah, aka the person who literally created, created him and brought him to life. So no, this Photoshop metaverse face. is not a world <laughs> where all bugs and toys and cars can talk. This is a world where animation studios can literally create life in whatever life. form they choose. What? I don't know exactly Whoa. how this happens. I can bring maybe Master maybe Chief to life. Lab, or maybe it's Subject like Woody. Subject the power Woody. of love and imagination brought them to life. <laughs> this From is the creepy. little details we do get, it does seem Dude, like a computer this is, actually is involved scary. somehow. But yeah. I personally feel like it's probably some kind okay. of mix of technology. I say scary as in like not dead space or whatnot. Like, this is more yeah. like Resident Evil scary. Yeah. And I'm talking remake one. Okay? Yeah. That's not that bad. Like, it's possible that it could actually happen, but like it's it's some you know, sort of toy yeah. story I know it's imagination fake. magic or whatever. We're talking about the theory. Alone, it's did not creepy. create Toy Story. Toy Story carries a human. Okay. What? Okay, now okay, that, this okay. is okay. Th- now that Never is scary. Run. Now Never that run. is scary. I'm actually scared. Why would he <laughs> say that? <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> what? Why? <laughs> No! Okay. The subtitles should not be right, saying. Oh. Again, we don't have enough information to figure out the exact mechanics of it, and that's okay. That's not. Actors can start selling AI voice clones to game companies under this new deal. Okay, come on. Uh, I'm gonna voice Noble Six in my new spinoff series. Yeah. What this theory is about. My theory is that in this metaverse world, Pixar and every other animation studio brings these can bring them to life, to life, and uses them as the cast and crews of their movies. And you're it's okay. you're telling me Angry Birds movie. <laughs> I'm just saying. I had to okay, really. if you don't fully believe me yet. Because yeah. I'm about to show you that this idea can be used to explain every single contradiction in the metaverse. Look. First off, how does Slim swallow okay, a Okay, we got an advertisement. He's supposed to be a bug. <laughs> I think I swallowed a bug. Well, he's Oh, not. you got an advertisement? He's a magical animated representation Yeah, I, I always of a get bug. like ads. Oh, he swallowed I didn't. is an actual real bug. How does Slim swallow a tiny bug if he's supposed Okay, I don't even know if I'm gonna continue. Supposed to be a bug. Oh, uh, okay. I think I swallowed a bug. Well, he's not. He's a magical animated, animated representation yeah. of a bug. And the bug he okay. swallowed is an actual real bug, bug that made yeah. its way onto the bug's life set. Okay. This also explains why the toy actors need to eat. I had that bean burrito for lunch. It's because they're not, they, not really, really toys. toys. Sure, they're not they really actually toys. look like them on okay. the outside, but they probably have internal organs and all the same basic Ew. needs as any. Okay, so, uh, Someone actually asked on Twitter, like one of the directors of Cars, saying, "Hey, 
why do the cars never open their doors? And the guy straight up without hesitation <laughs> said, because then the, all their body then parts their body would fall parts out. Would fall not, out. Like, yeah. He straight up said I that. Know. He straight up said that without any remorse. Yeah. So that's, that's kind of how this whole theory started, which is why this is all making sense to me, because I already know that. Yeah. Okay, okay, fine. But... Why do the actors in the metaverse still call themselves by their character names even out of that's character? That's the only name they know. Yeah. My name is Flex. Yo, come on, boss! You're right, Woody. Well, if we're going off of Toy Story logic, when the actors are created, I think they're also given the same beliefs and personality of As whatever the character, character they're supposed As. to be. Yeah. yeah. It's like in Toy Story 1 when Buzz literally yeah. thought he was a real human space ranger despite- Yeah, that's, that's what I've always been confused about a tiny toy. Yeah. Buzz Lightyear Space Ranger Universe Protection Unit. You actually think you're the Buzz, Buzz Lightyear? Look at alien. It's because he was made to be that character. In fact, this is probably also why Bullseye or the Queen's Aphid, two characters that are meant to be just regular, non-speaking animal pets. Bullseye, go, 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 go. Oh. Still act like pets even when they aren't filming. Yeah, boy. No, no, no. Down, bullseye. Ah. Oh, bullseye. Stop, horsey. Whoa. Uh oh. Towel. I need a towel over here. <laughs> <laughs> It's because this is the belief they were imbued with. And oh, it makes sense because, you know, okay. if you believe okay. you are a character, you're going to give the most... I believe I am noble si Okay, I'll, <laughs> I'll stop, I'll stop. Here's a tough one. How come the bird from A Bug's Life was actually a fake animatronic oh. robot? All right, let's see your proof this. Let's see your proof this, Alex. You know, if Pixar can easily bring to life any animated character they want, why bother mm -hmm. building a, a robot, robot for this yeah. scene? Doesn't this kind of disprove wait, my whole theory? Wait, Actually, it helps wait, prove it. In a wait, bug's life, this wait. bird is a regular, unintelligent, wild bird. All it does throughout the entire movie is just mindlessly attack other bug characters. Ah! So, if Pixar was to actually bring this bird to life, it would always have the belief that it's just a oh. mindless wild bird that wants to eat bugs all the time. Okay. Even when this... they aren't filming, just like Bullseye or the Aphid, which would obviously okay. be way too dangerous for a film set full of bug yeah, characters. Full of bug Hence, room. why they have a fake animatronic Robot. bird okay. instead. Starting okay. all kind of makes sense, isn't it? Uh, what else do we got? What else? I thought I thought what he was gonna say was that the bird was like may still actually mate, but this is its death slash malfunction, and they had to make another one. Oh yeah, I don't yeah, know why that's where I thought yeah. the theory was going. Yeah. But uh, I'm glad it's not because this one makes more sense yeah. than mine. <laughs> what else do we got? Why are the sizes of the toys, bugs, and monsters all so inconsistent yeah. in the bloopers? Well, if Pixar can create life in any form they choose, oh. there's nothing stopping them from just creating an extra small or extra big copy. Yeah, of the this character. is what in fact, I was thinking. In fact, we already know of. Pixar yeah. sometimes makes many copies of the same character. Oh. The, that that must have been a nightmare to have all of those. Oh, I can't yeah. believe that's a fifth pie. What row is that guy in? And what the two is that guy? Where we see these size differences are both jokes that rely on the characters being way too big or small. Hey, Pat, good morning! The gag just wouldn't work if they were all the same size. So yeah, I think Pixar just created extra small Bugs Life characters or an extra big Rex just for this one. Or Andy's just a Titan. Or so Andy's just, just a Titan. Giant Rex from the opening of Toy Story 3. Oh yeah. Okay. All right, cool. So oh, I love that movie as a child. Yeah. Fix a lot of the weird, small contradictions in the bloopers. But what about the biggest contradiction in the entire metaverse? The one I've been avoiding talking about. The I'm of course six. referring to <laughs> The Incredibles. The Incredibles. Interviews. This whole movie is a cartoon, you know? They paid me a fee to use elements of, of my, my life, life story. story. How would he? Mm -hmm. to allow yeah. this fiction to go forward. Man, I'm not in the movie. It's a cartoon. Do well, I look, I look like, like a cartoon to you. <laughs> <laughs> I love, I love how he keeps dude. including it. My theory lines up so perfectly with everything in the metaverse until we get to these damn interviews where they're like, yeah. no, Which, we're not animated, we're not cartoons, we're real people just like they're you. They're in denial. We're even in the movie. They're in denial, just yeah. inspired by our real lives. They're, they're in denial. And yeah, it probably would ruin my theory if it wasn't a damn lie. You lying, <laughs> deceiving <laughs> bastard. I didn't even realize that. <laughs> 
claims he's not a cartoon, and the interviewer clearly does not believe does him. Does not believe him. Do I look him. like a cartoon to you? <laughs> kind of. Because, kind yeah, of. he's lying. He's lying, They're yeah. all clearly animated characters when compared to the real human interviewers in oh, the room. Yeah. And the reason they're yeah, lying about this is because they believe they're it. ashamed of the way they were portrayed in the movie. These oh. characters don't look anything like me or my family. I was never that out of shape. They did exaggerate the weight part. Oh. Never forget the way I am portrayed in this movie. Pull yourself mm. down. I'm not abrasive. That's it's a cartoon. Mind completely. No, it's oh a cartoon. Gosh, it's it's animated. animated. Do I look like a cartoon to you? I have to see that deep fried image again. No, actually, never the mind. Incredibles <laughs> is a movie. And the interviewers don't <laughs> even believe movie. it. They just ignore them and keep asking and keep questions asking about questions. them. I just realized I need to keep looking out for theories. Uh, mm -hmm. Little hints at the even ARG. The movie. It's really funny. It's a cartoon. Okay. You look. Immediately ignores him. Oh, really pretty great in this movie. I'd put my money on maybe special training. No, it's a cartoon. Well, you know what they say, the camera adds he keeps 10 ignoring pounds. ignoring it. This whole movie is a cartoon, you know? You know? There were a lot of scenes that yeah. were quite dangerous in this movie. How'd you pull it off? The obvious subtext of these interviews is that they are all trying to hide the fact hide the that fact they that... are the animated characters that were in these mm, movies. So okay. no, this does not contradict my theory. Okay, wow. Okay, so that is my meta theory okay. we now understand what these actors really are okay. and we've been able to explain that every actually contradiction. it's not as bad there as i thought it would be. Yeah. A consistent i don't know the video keeps going on so but i didn't make this yeah. video just to explain away a bunch of inconsistencies and a few random bonus clips if that's all there was then i wouldn't have even bothered making this video well, yeah you would have i would have the real reason <laughs> i am making this theory yeah. is to answer a single question x what is the relationship between these living animations and their, and their creators what? oh no this may seem like an innocent question at first but understanding this relationship is key to unlock what about what sounds so exaggerated but yeah. like yeah. i Sorry, actually am surprised trust me you have okay no idea. hold on i gotta look for theories i gotta okay. look for stuff the, uh, how dark things it's, are about to get it's dark oh down. no pause it pause it pause it pause it <laughs> yeah system is rigged why did I read it? Everyone can read that. What am I saying? In the Toy Story movies, the toys kind of view the kid who brought them to life as a god, at least for the most part. And they're entire Okay. Uh, never mind. I'll I'll, I'll save it. I'll save it. Your purpose in life is to make their god happy. You're Bonnie's toy. You are going to help create happy memories that will last for the rest of her life. Toy Story 4 does not need to exist. Toy, Toy Story 4 does never toys, need to exist. Please. We'll be there for them. Terrible. Together. Rhino Stu made a great video talking about the religious themes in Toy Story. I highly recommend it. What? Why Toy Story is about cults? <laughs> why, the would religious... they why would they show Heaven's the... Gate? Why? <laughs> Next... The religious theme <laughs> oh. of Toy Story. Wow. That's like... Say, that's like... But it's kind of sad, but it's not creepy, on. like stupid. If you, the first timestamp is death cult, death cult. Let's go. Made a great video talking about the religious themes in Toy Story. I highly recommend it. But is this also the case with these living animations created by the studio? Well, that's what I initially thought, but the bloopers paint a bit of a different picture. The actors have lunch breaks. I had that bean burrito for lunch. Does this mean we can break for lunch? Yeah. Trailers. Okay. I cannot work like this. I will be in my trailer. Even agents. Come on, monkey! That's it! I draw the line at monkey! Get my agent on the phone! And even other acting jobs that they're able to take outside of the Pixar oh. movies. What are you gonna do next? Well, I'm up for this villain in a toothpaste commercial. Wow, really? that's great! Oh. And also, the fact that Pixar took the time to build an animatronic bird for a bug's life implies that there is some kind of safety requirement on these sets. Yeah. So, okay. these actors are not slaves. It seems like they have the same no. agency, free okay. will, and rights that any human actor has, including a reasonable expectation. Oh, well, what movie is that? They probably <laughs> even get paid, which is good because unlike yeah. in Toy Story, mm. these actors need food and probably other basic essentials. I mean, come on, they're even showing up and winning awards at the Oscars. Their life doesn't seem that bad. Yeah. If they've got that kind of food in the green room, I can't wait to taste what they have at the governor's ball. So yeah, even though they were created by the studio for a specific purpose, it's it seems like these animations have a lot of say over how they're treated or what they do with their lives. Okay. You know? So from so from what I'm getting so far is um uh how do I say this in a YouTube friendly way? Uh 
you pretty much have like a bunch of workers that like you created but like you're yeah. treating them fairly is what i'm getting so far yeah. but since the video is not the even video is, like, is not ending one third I think of, two thirds of yeah. it done i think <laughs> they're gonna like completely yeah. flip what i just said well, like, i wonder I to get like that out then of the what way. are they doing so dark because if they're giving him this much freedom, then like, what's the whole? Yeah, I know. Like, how, oh, how you, you know what? That, you know what? It's gonna be part? like, it's gonna be like, if they retire each character. But if they retire, ooh, they retire. Maybe. What do they do with them when they're retired? Like, Let's they're not see. gonna let them live, are they? Let's see. Well, then spinoffs. Well, well, hang on, hang on. Think about spinoffs. Yeah. Like, think think about that. Like, they get replaced. But then again, that. Just supports my theory. All right, let's just let's just watch it. Yeah. Sorry, I just I yeah, talk, yeah, yeah. I pause videos and like talk them out yeah. so I can understand it. You know, I, I was reaction. kind of expecting like a dark. I, I, I think each one that. of those. Okay, so if you go back to the like <laughs> this to like. Okay, I, hate, I hated that being formed. And... That actually jump scared me a little bit, just a teensy yeah. little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Again, I played Dead Space, so nothing yeah. nothing scares me. But like. Uh, where's the part where he talks about like Woody being animated and like he shows him becoming like flesh or whatnot? I think this is also still continuing Alex Bale's uh, ARG. ARG. So it yeah. seems to be getting his ARG seems to be getting a lot darker. Yeah. And more mature. Mature audiences. Eighteen it seems plus like everything's only. okay in the metaverse. <sighs> Please don't show creepy images. But then, why do I still? F why does he keep showing the slow oh, image of grass gosh. and like has this yeah. spooky music? Dude, I, I, I swear if they sketch. jump scare me, dude, I'm gonna How actually I hate look it. Look at these clips and still I'll feel be fine. like there's something very, I play FNAF. very wrong yeah. here. But I actually I have. Checked. I checked oh, everywhere. Man. Everything points to them being happy and treated fairly. Like, yeah. They have a good life. They, they have a good life. You don't understand. The yeah. Yeah. No, they get they get awards. Yeah. Wait. Do they accept the award? Okay, I'm making sure there's no highlighted text. I I think if yeah. you like blur uh, up like up these darker images, you're gonna see like hidden messages. But yeah. I'm not that kind of a theorist. I wait for Matt Pat to do that. Yeah, Matt Pat will do it. Yeah. Oh wait, he's they gone. Show up when they're he, no, no, no. He's still okay. So he's still on GT Live. He'll still be on GT oh, Live yeah. occasionally. Okay. Oh, never mind. Yeah. I forgot there. about that. I forgot. About but that. uh, yeah. Yeah. Everything else is run by someone else. Yeah. Sometimes they even get to present the award, so surely they'd be able to accept this great honor if they won. Speaking of that Star Wars X-Wing, Mark Hamill did actually uh, announce the rewards, and C-3PO and R2-D2 both came out in, like, full costumes and everything. I really loved that. Oh, that's kind of cool. Uh, yeah, at I'll one of the that. awards. If, uh, if any of you subscribers get the chance, look it up. It's one of the greatest, uh, I think, Oscar awards possible. It's, it's great. The dedication, right? I mean. Yeah. The Academy rules specify that animated characters must remain in their seats. Only real what? people can accept the award. Wait a minute. What? what? Hold on, let me look at text to make sure nothing else yeah, specifically go, go is being yeah. animated. The Academy rules specify that animated, animated characters, characters must remain, remain in their seats. seats. Only real people what? can accept what? the award. Why? Huh. Is that actually a rule? at the oscars like they'll, they'll allow them to present the awards but not accept, accept them because them? they're not quote unquote real wait then how do cars sit down <laughs> yeah are they just park i don't know oh, I, I, Every, I, I, all, I, all I, animated characters like okay. a funny little joke they're making yeah. you know the oscars they always got these funny comedians, funny comedians coming up with their funny yeah. little jokes well, I mean, like yeah. this the academy rules specify that animated characters what remain in their seats only real what? people can why the award. it's a it's actually guys, a rule it's just it's just a joke okay it's a joke guys it's a, it's a joke what this are is the creepy. academy award rules uh, is there actually a rule online? I gotta look now. This is a video. Oh, here it is. It says, with the envelope in her hand, Lane goes up... Uh, Lane got up in one more dig that might just be more timelier th uh, today than ever. Guys, up until now, I thought Monsters Incorporated was just a documentary about the Weinsteins. When the audience groaned, he said, We kid the rich and powerful because we love them. Academy rules specify that animated characters must remain in their seats. Only real people can accept the award. What? So please, is that... be animated. What? What? That is on here, dude. <laughs> This is freaking me out, dude. What? It's I'll I'll, I'll send you a link. I'll send you a link right now, and you can read it for yourself.
Missing. Hold on, hold on. He actually, he actually, no, no, no. You know how we did all this research? He just did yeah. it. Oh, did he? Oh. No, oh, it's in the video. Oh, oh. my goodness. We did all yeah. of that for nothing. We it literally was pulled a map cool. pad right yeah, We pulled a map pad. all the research. But hey, the answers right that's in front just of a theory. Yeah, it's, it's, a film theory. <laughs> all right, let's all right. see this. Let's see this. We'll see it. Is a rule at the Oscars. They are saying that even though these animated characters are alive and what? physically exist in the same world, they still aren't real enough to accept the award for their own movie. Only real Only people, real are people can do that. And look, I know these presenters weren't oh. actually trying to carefully set up intricate lore for the Pixar metaverse, but regardless, it's still part of the metaverse, and I'm going to use it intentional or otherwise. Because just listen to what they're saying. Animations remain seated. Only real people accept the awards doesn't that just sound Smith. like animated characters are viewed as some kind of lower class in this world and even when they are allowed on Sub stage subhuman like second class awards, citizens hear this yep. now a small favor of the winner I, I realize this is your big night you know and stepping on the little people is a hollywood tradition but what please, when you come up to accept your Ooh. award just watch your step thanks they're afraid what? of real people stepping people on them. People stepping what? on them. Of course, it's a what? tremendous honor to be nominated with such a, a prestigious group. What's the secret of Kells? These are all cartoons. I thought we got nominated like a real movie. Mr. Fox says, I thought we got nominated like a real movie. He's upset because he wasn't nominated what? for Best Picture, but instead Best Animated Picture. Because he knows what? in this world, this is insane. animated movies and animated people are treated as what? lesser than real <laughs> movies and real people. You know, which is true. What? In the, in the real world Oscars as well. <laughs> this gives a whole new context to why the Incredibles what? were lying in their interviews. They're not just pretending like they're oh not in goodness. the movie. They're trying to pretend like they're not even animated. Do I look like a cartoon to you? Mm, kinda. The Incredibles are lying because of the way animated they're treated. characters are treated. Oh, yeah. wow. They are clearly not considered the Dude. same as real people. Okay, so that all paints a pretty bleak picture okay. of the metaverse world. They just treat but him second class. At least class in the instance. bloopers, when they're on a film set, it seems yeah. like they're, like they're having pretty fun. well. Yeah. You know, they've got agents yeah, looking out for them well. and safety regulations. And yeah, that's all true. But now that we have this new context in mind, let's take another look at that like Rex clip again. Gag. A gag, yeah. Hey, like they're forced stop to Stop giving this. me the stupid <laughs> Billy ad. Billy Bodywad ad. Stop. <laughs> Was I scary? Do I get the part? Do I don't Rex need Rex shampoo. Rex. Hey, how was that? There we go. Was I scary? Do I get the part? Can I do it again? Rex asks, did I get the part? What? This is not just an did outtake. I get, do I get this the part? Is an audition? Was I scary? Do I get the part? It's an audition. And that's strange, right? Why do they have to audition Wait. when they were literally made for the role they're playing? Like, who else would audition for the role of Woody or Buzz other than the what? Woody and Buzz they literally created for that role? But remember, they didn't only make no one way. Of each character. They can't uh, only <gasps> Oh my god. of Buzz Lightyear, what? all of them alive. They make Buzz multiple Buzz even out of character. The only oh. reason I can oh. see them needing this is creepy. process is if Pixar is creating multiple copies of the same character oh, no, and then forcing is... them to audition <laughs> and only one gets chosen. Yes. Again, we already know Pixar makes multiple copies of their actors. What? These blooper characters are most likely just resized this is copies. Resized copies. Obviously, this giant yeah. Rex isn't getting resized a lot of work copies. after his one scene in Toy Story 3, so it makes sense that he'd try an audition to be in Monsters, Inc. And just imagine for a second, if this is true, but if you were created I, with the belief that you are Buzz Lightyear from a Toy Story and created for the sole purpose of being the star <laughs> of a movie, and then I'll you never forgive don't myself. get the part, the part you were literally created for, the <gasps> only reason why you exist, yeah, the actors who get cast in top roles all get agents and trailers. Whoa, whoa, wait, hold on. Then that kind of contradicts when Buzz Lightyear finds out he's not he's not the only Buzz Lightyear and that he's a toy. Because he's then acting. How does... Oh, wait, yeah, because he's acting. Yeah. Never mind. I tried to I tried the film theory yet. Dang it. Agents and trailers and maybe even prestigious so, Oscar awards. Okay. But... What happens to the other ones that aren't accepted? What hold do they on. do with he's them? He's about to say it. He's about oh, to no. say it. What happens what do they to do? the rest of the actors they created who don't get the part? And again, it's not like they're the same as the Toy Story toys who can just patiently wait to maybe get played with one day. These animations need food and probably all the other basic essentials that all living things Oh, need. that's disturbing. But it's fine. Yeah. You know, they, they don't have to be in Pixar movies. No one's forcing them to do anything. They can just get a part in something no. else. No. But think about it. 
If you were made specifically for one role, and only that role, who would really hire you for anything else? And it's not like these animations can change the way they look either. When what? Giant Rex auditions for Monsters, Inc., he still looks like a plastic toy dinosaur with very obvious hinges, even though the role obviously calls for a realistic monster. And no, he doesn't get the part. An actual realistic monster toy actor gets it. Hey, Ken! Good morning! What? And even when they oh, do get other roles, it's something small, like a villain in a toothpaste commercial. What are you gonna do next? Well, I'm up for this villain in a toothpaste commercial. Actually, no, he's, he's not even cast at it yet. He's just up for it. But still, the other aliens oh, act like this is the role what? of a lifetime. Wow, really? That's great. Because for them, it probably is. Oh, that's CGI. Pixar I never realized how weirdly animated this is. Yeah. That never return after this scene. A villain in a toothpaste commercial is probably as good as it gets for these guys who are stuck looking and sounding like this forever. It gives a much darker. I never realized. I mean, I, mean, I understand that Toy Story was the first ever 3D animated movie. Yeah. But I, I, and looking back on it, I haven't seen the first ever Toy Story in so long. I forgot yeah. how off the animation yeah. is but as a kid i was like that's so cool yeah and then i watched like bad batch and i'm like oh no that is uh for context to this blooper clip where two monsters panic about messing up oh lives. yeah get him, mr solomon you idiot it's solomon not solomon what you're messing up the scene sorry you're never gonna work in hollywood again let me do it over shut up keep rolling you're making it worse they are terrified of never working in hollywood again because they know the studio could easily replace them with an identical copy, and their prospects for finding other roles in this My industry are extremely the worst limited. Time. Why? Okay, oh. that sucks, but they don't necessarily need to be actors. Why don't they just get a different job? Because they don't but get remember, different jobs. This is a world that treats animations as a lower class. And like second some of class them are animations who have to worry about getting stepped on. Yeah. What possible oh role goodness. could they serve in a society run by real humans? The best Dude, they can get is hard. probably working as a crew for other tiny Pixar movies. And that's exactly what we see. All the crew members we see in these bloopers are oh. not just random animations. They are characters that yeah, we see. Yeah, I was about to ask oh. about that. I was so going to ask about these that. Actors are yeah. also working as crew members on the same movie they're in, which sounds wow. unlikely. Or these are the reject copies of actors who weren't lucky enough to get the part. So now their only option is to work as a part of the film crew, which probably pays less and comes with a lot less perks. You think these guys get trailers and agents? Nope. Remember when we no. saw Woody holding the slate while they were filming A Bug's Life? Let me try it again. Okay. Is this just a fun cameo, or was this actually a, re one a of reject? The many rejected Woody clones. Nah, it was just a cameo part. because remember, and Woody's immortal. The animations who do <laughs> get the part and all the perks that come with it. What happens after their movie ends? Sure, some will go on to make sequels. But yeah, that's what I was saying. This is so what I was saying. Five is existing. I thought it was just a joke. No. But this is what I was saying. I was like, okay, so then if you do get hired on the job and then your sequel thing is done and you're never talked of again, like Bugs Life, like they like they've only made that one movie and that was it, right? Mm -hmm. What do they do with him after? I guess this is what we're gonna find out. Dude, I was what actually I'm a good theorizer. What the heck? This is crazy. <laughs> Bugs Life, who never got a sequel. See? Well, See? We know exactly I, I literally got the movie down. I, I got the movie exactly. down. I got the this movie was, down. This was literally like, this is Mad Pat's Dude. reaction when he's noticed Music Man. <laughs> Dude, I got the Man. movie. Out of every Pixar movie, this guy could have listed off. He does the Bugs Live. I, I, I'm, I'm on the same level. We're that's in the just, same that's head. That's the most like, iconic. No, yeah, but I, well, it's not the most iconic. It's the one that didn't have a sequel, okay, which goes yeah, back true. to my no, point. No. Yeah. Nah, your point is valid. Yeah. What happened? I'm to the new math pal now. I can't believe that you talked him into making a bug. What? Wait, what? Hold on. Exactly what happened Wait. to them. You know, I can't believe that you talked him into making a bug's life too. Oh, I can hardly believe it. Also, <laughs> but there's a little. Oh my goodness! Wait, what? I forgot to tell you. Mm -hmm. What's that, Heimer? It's not the bug's life too. Well then, what? I I don't understand. What is it then? Uh, they murder each other. They never 
got a They kill each story. other! So the best these former leading actors could get is a small cameo in Toy Story 2 where they're basically the butt of a joke. Actually, oh. wait, these aren't even the same actors from A Bug's Life. They're the extra tiny copies that the studio made just for this one gag and then never used oh. again. These guys are screwed. Also, all of this recontextualizes a lot of the cameos or Easter eggs we see in Pixar movies. What? If they're willing to create living animations just for this one tiny gag that's what about barely visible in the actual movie, then what about the other many bugs? Oh, that is no. so creepy! No! <laughs> so they're all dead! <laughs> no! No! Oh, no! That is... They're, like, dead! They don't have... They're just lifeless organ bodies! Oh, no! Yes. Oh, no! Dude! Oh, oh man, that's... That's... That's, that's actually okay. That is actually Dead Space creepy. That now. is that is that's not Dead Space that. creepy. That's like found footage creepy. <laughs> like, oh yeah, my no, Dead gosh, Space. Dead Space. No. Does, no, Dead Space. No, no, no. This is literally Dead Space because like we've got the they've got yeah. the religious cult aspect. We've got religious the like cult, sacrifices, sacrifices. And we've got the lifeless props. No. Oh my goodness to get acting work as a silent background easter egg remember none of these animations are being forced what? to do anything they have their own free will and rights they don't have to work on the crew or do these demeaning easter egg roles but what else can, can they, they do? do yeah they need money to buy food, food but they're made in a way that makes them only useful to the pixar to studio. the pixar studio they've got the system rigged so that oh no one's being forced no one's to do anything. being forced no laws to they are being have broken to here but they aren't really given any better yeah. options there's oh. even a really distasteful joke that was removed from new releases of the toy story bloopers that's clearly a reference to the casting couch prospector how about you and so you two are oh. absolutely identical <laughs> Oh, you know, I'm sure I could get you a part in Toy Story 3. I'm sorry, are we back? Oh, all right, uh -huh. girls. Lovely talking with you. Yes, any time you'd like some tips on acting, I'd be glad to chat. With you. Uh, all right, uh, wow. That's a real it's scene? Hard not to see the obvious yeah. parallels between this. Hey, I forgot about that. Like I forgot. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna, we're gonna sit to that. Well, because yeah. the studios that is can just stupid. create copies hmm. of the exact same actor to replace them. What? That's the insidious thing about these bloopers. They show all of these actors Dang, laughing, very... having a good time on Yes, set. I can oh, swear in Star Wars. Here, you can't censor me, YouTube. This is like literal Hollywood itch, darkness. This, time. this is It's probably Dead why Space. the in-universe Pixar Studios' first movie was Toy Story, a movie Toy that Story. More or less shows us how these actors were created. Except Pixar betrays all these toys as happily subservient to the humans who gave them life. Over in that house is a kid who thinks you are the greatest. You are his toy. We're Andy's toys, Woody. We'll be there for him together. They don't mind that this is their whole purpose for existing. What? They love their humans and would do oh, anything for them. Dude, that's they a cult by this food. point. Oh, that's a cult. Think about how we treat our animated actors. That's a what? cult. They're having a great time in the that's bloopers. They love their life. Look, everyone's cult. joking around. Cult. Oh, Woody what? Pringle. They're all happy. It's great. It doesn't matter. Don't think about it. Don't think about it. Yeah, okay, he did the he did the uh, flesh monster and again. This is definitely part of his ARG. Is, yeah. The Pixar metaverse theory. Dude. That fails Pixar metaverse theory, okay? Oh. I, I came up with this theory. You gotta give me credit if you wanna just restate it in your YouTube This is probably because, this is probably because actually, um, some people used his Spongebob theories and didn't actually give proper credit. Yeah. A lot of them did, but, uh, that's why he's... Okay. All right, there you go. That is my version of the Pixar theory. Who knows if any of this was actually ever intended by the creators, but either way, no. the implications I'm are I'm still going to stand I'm still going to stand by the fact that it's just it's funny gags for a kids yeah. movie. And but you know, in as the such, fan fiction world, that is but pretty creepy. But you know world, what's that, another that thing I creepy. actually wanted to talk about? The sad thing is it's kind of a little creepy like you're in it, it's all fan fiction or whatever. Mm -hmm. But it's kind of like Hollywood. Like, you gotta think about it. Like, there is yeah, stuff in Hollywood that kind of replicates what he shows, this. That's what he shows at the end. That's what he shows at the end, uh, you know, with those <clears throat> jobs. Yeah. And, uh, like, no, that is, that's that is like, very good. Like, I'm pretty sure yeah. what they were actually trying to do with that original scene is just poke fun at it. Like, yeah. You know, uh... What's the word I'm looking for? I guess humiliate the yeah. person. But like, 
I still think I still think this theory was did not convince me as much as the Goofy Goober one did. Yeah. So I'm still gonna. Like, uh no, this one this convinced cool, me more than cool the Goofy theory. Goober one. Like mm, a little bit. Maybe more. maybe in like a few days. Maybe in a few days it'll convince me more. Yeah. But like this is uh this this was intense. All right, let's see this if was let's, intense. Uh, I'm gonna finish this video because uh I'm gonna see if there's anything else for the ARG. Yeah. To think about regardless. I am no longer the SpongeBob theory guy. Oh, I am now the, the Pixar. meta theory oh, the guy. The meta theory. Out every movie or show is actually. Miss Frizzle's theory. Ooh, that was that was a good one. <laughs> yeah, I haven't seen that one. Movie or show yet. about filming that movie or show. Do oh, it like meta. it is. It is funny how many of these properties have a secret meta layer to them, and and I wouldn't be surprised if I ended up making more theories about other topics, essentially saying the same thing. But you know, I, it'll still be different and unique every time. Uh, I I know I promised my next theory would be the big. <laughs> Hold on, what all is in the background? Final SpongeBob mega compilation that reposted all of the old theories, but with new evidence and a bunch of new mini theories. Mm. You know, I, I yeah. was originally hoping that that would just be an easy cash grab video where I could just recycle old content. Uh, but it turns out I actually have a lot more to add to that than I thought. Yeah, the the new bonus content alone in that is actually bigger than several full SpongeBob theories combined. Oh, so wow. that video is gonna take a little longer to get out. Plus, I wanted to post a theory sooner after the big break I took to make Don't Feed the Muse three. Yeah. Uh, but, but, but what else can I say? Um, thank you for the support on the final episode of Don't Feed the Muse and my film What the Heck is Going On, which ironically that has a film plot is good. that's I very like similar that. to this theory. Never uh, watched so go, it. Go it was good. I it was am good. currently working like, on my first ever film. feature film. Probably won't have any wow. about that for a while. So Honestly, many people are doing their first like feature films. Yeah. Nice. Until then. Yeah, I don't know. I got two other non-SpongeBob theories coming out. They're really fun. Uh, what else? What else? Um, if you want to support me, I got merch. I got Patreon. You can get access to videos early, behind-the-scenes content, and sneak peeks at future theory topics. I've already announced all the upcoming SpongeBob mini theory topics on there, and I just announced one of the non-SpongeBob topics I'll be covering in the future. Thanks for all the support on both the films and the theories. I will see you oh. next time. All right, I'm gonna get ready. This is the Pixar Metaverse what? theory. The, the uh, theory, sorry. <laughs> what, what did I say? I, I said Siri? <laughs> All right, so again. Wait a minute, this feels fake. Whoa. This is fake. Pa this pause. is fake. No, 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 no. Like, <laughs> what? Like, it. What feels uh, fake? No, like, he's like referencing something. Like, I, like he's like kind he's of making, he's making bloopers. fun of the bloopers, right? I know. Yeah, but he's trying but to mess But something's odd something. about it. It doesn't feel like he's just being fully satirical. It feels like Yeah, no. I mean, I could I could just purpose. be full theorizing because he's in this... planted my brain brain with theory, but it seems <laughs> I don't know. like keep playing, right keep now, playing. Right now it just like, feels this like seems... he did the It just feels like he did these for the the memes. Yeah, we'll see. Can we can we use that one? Oh, he's mocking them. Is a sneaky yeah. little reference to the fact that the director of Up is also named Alex. <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, <laughs> I said Alex? <laughs> said... These are so fake laughters. They tried so yeah. too hard on these. No, let's go again, let's go again. Woody shows up as a crew member on a bug's life. The bugs show up as toy... St Hold on. What? Hold on. What? I gotta do something. Hang on. Let, oh. me, let me see that again real quick. I thought you were like real. Show up as. Oh, were you? Let me let me put this down. Let me put this down at uh, zero point twenty five because I gotta see something real quick. Toy. Okay. Okay. So no, that was a real cat. Okay. I thought they were using like CGI. CGI I'm not even gonna lie. No, it's a, excuse he is me. A cat. Can I can I help you, Goose? Get out of here. <laughs> that is a real cat. He has yeah. though. And why is Rex so big compared to the monsters? Monsters are really. Yeah, this is yeah. obviously. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. They're poking fun at it, or yeah. I'm also trying to look at like the billboard in the back. Because yeah. who knows if that's gonna like change? Right now, it just seems like different the monsters. angles. Monsters are supposed. Hey, why is everyone laughing? What? He's using the same laugh track. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Who did this? Which which one of you guys did this? <laughs> cool. Yeah. Did we did we get it? We're all done. Awesome. Awesome. Please help me. Please help me. What? I'm a prisoner here. They're forcing me yep. to do this. Yep. Please help. Told you. Told you. Yes. Told you.
That's, that's why you're always uh, yeah. By the way, I'm not trying to set up any ARG lore stuff in these He's videos. lying. <laughs> y'all, y'all, mm, why was the HS continuously highlighted? Yeah, that's the thing, too. Uh, was the video like, I, yeah, I don't know why he... That, and at first, I thought I was just overlooking it and going Matt Pat crazy. But no, seriously, like, playing, when he did it in the subtitles, that's when I knew something was Why does the video up. keep repeating? No! It's not repeating for me, it ended. Oh, it just keeps um, repeating. I don't know why. Wait, oh. No. Okay, we're done. We're just gonna exit out of the activity. <laughs> it just keeps like resetting. What the heck? Back to here. Uh, there we go. Okay. No. All right. Final thoughts. Well, uh, my childhood is ruined. That was. <laughs> that that, that was... didn't ruin my childhood. That just made me think so hard. Yeah. Like. Again, like I said, I still firmly believe that uh, it's all just a joke. Like, this this kind of did get... I'll be honest, it kind of did get, like, a bit too insane. It like, got and I, and a I little bit too creepy, like, and I don't did not worry. enjoy I it. Do, yeah. I know... Okay, I know I've watched all of Mad Pat's Fnaf videos, so trust me, I yeah, know what I, creepy is. Yeah, I like, know what creepy is. This seemed way worse. This seemed like this he was seemed really worse. trying to. Yeah. Like I said, I was going to joke about the whole Pete being God thing, but then when he actually connected that, that yeah. was like, okay, hold on. This isn't yeah. dead space where there's an actual religious cult out here. No, 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 no. Yeah. He's just like, but. I seriously love the enthusiasm, though. Like, he is so clearly dedicated like, to yeah. this. It and those fake really outfits. Yeah. Those fake outfits were really good too. Yeah. Really good. Um uh yeah, that's about it. Uh that was uh one hour. That was yeah. and like thirty minutes. Yeah. It was long. I'm gonna admit probably I think the that longest is video his, we have done. I think that is his best theory he has ever done. That was really I think I think that's that a really, was really well thought impressive out theory. how he was able to go find DVDs, find character interviews, and actually yeah, connect and that. Actually, that was I never again, saw those. It pulled, I never knew pulled those the existed. Pulled yeah. the map pad. Yeah. To actually <clears throat> That was unintentional. But he yeah. actually he actually, you know, went and got everything and you know connected it all together uh that's about it uh, i think that's thank about you it, yeah. spartans for watching all of this uh and i will uh t see you later spartans